Welcome back to Shooting the Bull. Today, I want to talk to you about something that is completely taboo. Incest. And for that, I'm going to bring back the professor. Today, we're going to talk about how incest is best. In the cattle industry, incest can be very strategic. Now, some of you, especially if you're from the South like me, if you get to looking in your genetic history and your ancestral tree, it may look more like a telephone pole. And some cattle are that way. Because we intentionally do what we call line breeding frequently and often with great results. Now, in a moral taboo way in our modern society, incest is frowned upon and it most likely should be. But in the cattle industry, it is not. And that's because when we do what we call line breeding, we are working on creating animals that have strong genetic profiles. It happens in animals on the sire side. We want to use that sire back on things like using a sire on his daughters or using a set of daughters out of a sire on their half-brother or, or on their uncle, something like that. And why would we do that? Well, because going back, we've done this in other videos, if you go back and you look, if you look at our genetic tree, if we've got an animal that has square, square, zero, zero, and that's very uncommon. That's, that's something really strong, like maybe she's really deep and got a lot of capacity and she's just real feminine, just a standout kind of cow. And we breed her to her father, who also had a square, square, circle, circle, and we'll say he had a triangle thrown in here or something like that. If we do this cross right here, then what we can have is we can have a preponderance of genes that tend to show up in the progeny so that we get an animal that has lots and lots of genetic profile that we like or genetic material in there that we like. So we get lots of feminine genetics put into this animal or we get lots of maternal genetics it, maybe it's capacity maybe it's growth then you could take this animal and cross it with say a half brother and now you're crossing it with an animal that has similar dna and we're getting an even thicker coat of all this now if you're familiar at all with x files back in the day or with too many people from the south you know that Incest or line breeding can cause problems eventually. There can be genetic defects that come from stacking too many genes. But the way the cattleman deals with that is he culls aggressively. So if he ends up with an animal that has any sort of genetic defect or um, weakness, maybe it's a smaller framed animal, just doesn't grow as correctly, then he tends to cull that animal out of his herd and it goes on to be sold and they continue. But the effectiveness of line breeding is that you get this preponderance of genes that are really strong and really concentrated into one animal. And we call that prepotency. When an animal has a concentration of those genes in their, in their system, that it becomes a preponderance or a prepotency of those genes in their system. Now, if we cross this animal using heterosis, which is the opposite of line breeding, it's crossing as far away from it as we can possibly get, then we have a real chance of carrying a super strong gene from the line bred animal and you putting that into the, into the offspring that's crossed with the other animal. So now not only do you get the hybrid vigor of the growth from the other animal, but you have a huge opportunity to carry these traits that you love so much about your original cow into the progeny that's being developed. Line breeding is super important for those people who are developing seed stock operations. If you're not familiar with the term seed stock, seed stock means the animals that other people are going to buy to produce the majority of their herd. So a seed stock animal is an animal that I go and I would buy from probably a registered Angus or a registered Simmental producer that's going to be my bull that I breed 60 cows to, or it's going to be a cow that I use 
whether it's through embryo transfer or through putting her calves into recipients using an embryo transfer or simply retaining a lot of her calves and having the plan that I'm going to keep her calves in my herd, that I'm going to improve the genetics of my foundation in my operation through this. So if you're a seed stock producer, you definitely need to know what lime breeding is and how it works. And while for humans, incest may not be best, there's times in the cattle industry that incest is a fantastic tool. This has been another episode of Shooting the Bull. I'm Ken Hendricks. Thanks for shooting the bull. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the latest updates.